the reactions are coming in. I am getting positive reactions, I am getting negative reactions, but the box office is showing good numbers. It took me a long time to understand that KGF had sunk into the pop culture of uh, the Indian audience. If you, if you see the reviews, uh, there have been blockbuster movies, like I think even KGF, Bahubali, all of them did not get reviews that said five star. Yeah. But they made five star at the box, box office. office. Prabhas sir's screen presence is outstanding from the beginning. Mm -hmm. He's made for action. I usually tend to write in a way where my hero has to be the biggest villain. Just the first three three hours of a of a six hour movie yeah. that I that I have come up with. Probably I'll, I'll learn from this experience and uh, do a better job of it next time. It's nasty, is what I heard. Yeah. And I really wish that it did not come down to something like that because both both the stars are are huge in in, in 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 Indian cinema. This was a solo release or if Dunkey was a solo solo release, I don't think this would have come up. Salar 2 has to happen at some point of time. Mm -hmm. KGF 3 also has to happen. It's, it's 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 literally like a promise and I'm very, 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 very keen to show the ending of Salar 2. Hi guys, this is Himesh and welcome to Pink Villa. Today we have with us Prashant Neel who just had a mammoth release in the form of Salar. Welcome to Pink Villa Prashant, it's Thank lovely you having you here. Thank you Himesh. It has been a week since the release of Salar. I'm sure the reactions are finally seeping in. Yeah. So, yeah. and because you know all the fan euphoria, everything has now settled in at a certain level. How do you look at the response that Salar has got? Is it in sync with what you expected pre-release? See, we don't uh, usually uh, try to anticipate what the audience is going to react with. Yeah, I know that they'll react with uh, all the elevations and stuff like that. I think uh, it'll take a little more time for me to analyze what has happened with the movie, what went right, what went wrong. Mm -hmm. um, when I say what went wrong, I, 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 I somewhere think that you know everything that. People, the audience will be looking at me. Will be looking at me only from the eye, from the lens of the previous movie that I did. Yeah. KGF. Yeah. And uh, it took me a long time to understand that KGF had sunk into the pop culture of uh, the Indian audience. Yeah. I mean, I was not aware. I'm not uh, somebody who is uh, in tune with what is happening yeah. in the so in social media and uh, stuff like that. So I did not know the importance and relevance of what. KGF had done. Hmm. I know that it did numbers. Yeah. But uh, slowly, I think, uh, you know, while we were making this movie, a lot of people said that, uh, you know, there is a lot of reference of how KGF and Salar looks very similar. Yeah. And I really did not think about it at that point of time <laughs> because I was making, I, I had a story and I had yeah. to tell the story in a particular way. Maybe there was a better way of saying it, but that is the way I viewed that. And uh, I, mean, I mean, the reactions are coming in. Mm -hmm. The reactions are coming in. I, I'm getting positive reactions, I'm getting negative reactions, but the box office is showing good numbers. Yeah, that that was actually my next question. 500 crore globally. How do you view this number for Salar? Numbers, uh, I, I, we, we rarely, I mean, we, we make our movies for the numbers. Yeah. Definitely, you know, it's not, it goes without a saying. This is uh, something new that I've tried. Mm -hmm. A new sort of a drama that I've tried. You know, um, uh, the kind of characters that I have built is all set up for, to tell you the entire story. Hmm. So even if somebody judges me with the first half of what uh, story I've put out, yeah. I'm going to wait for their judgment for uh, the whole story. Okay. So if uh, uh, they want, if I'm going to get a judgment based on uh, Salar, I think people should wait for uh, Salar 2 also to come out at the same time. Okay. But uh, for you as a director, where do you see, get your validation from? How do you seek validation? Is it from the reviews of people, like maybe the reviews or is it from audience word of mouth, people around you or is it the box office number? If you if you see the reviews, no, uh, there have been blockbuster movies, like I think even KGF, Bahubali, all of them did not get reviews that said five star. Yeah. But they made five star at the box, box office. office. Yeah. Uh, you, you tell a story to the audience and they have to like it. The validation comes only from them. Hmm. Uh, whether they like it now or they like it over a course of time, yeah. uh, that, that I think we'll have to wait. Wait and watch. Basically, like you said, you have to wait for the entire story to get over before any. It's like basically watching a film till interval and passing a word. Absolutely. I mean, yeah. now, you know, I think the audience uh, probably give you a feedback after the first half. Yeah. 
they tell you the first half is a hit or a, mm-hmm. you know blockbuster or it's a flop or yeah. whatever you know they come up with their own ways I, the, the audiences have become judges today yeah and uh, they're they're the biggest critics <laughs> you know you, you probably don't need critics today because they oh, they'll give you an absolute analysis of what you're thinking yeah and i think that's uh, that's something that we as filmmakers have to get used to true correct and uh, so you know for me the best moment of the film is the kalima sequence in the second half could you tell us how did you come up with that sequence because i think one thing which is unanimous on from even in terms of audience feedback is the love for that sequence it's it's too good even in the theaters the halls are erupting so could you tell us how did you create that particular sequence it comes from the story itself we don't write it separately to say that you know we want to create euphoria here it comes from the emotion of the character yeah he uh, he has experienced something in his childhood with his mother yeah and uh, that is how he is going to react hmm. every time he sees a woman in trouble hmm. and uh, that was the very idea of that uh, and i'm very happy that people are talking about it so much yeah. i didn't make too much of it when we were shooting okay but uh, yeah it's, uh, it's it's just part of the emotion if if you strike a chord with the emotion the action works hmm. i've said it time and again i think uh, that, that's ditto for that particular scene hmm. also and there is another one which is in the coal mine which is the first time where we get to see the violent side of prabhas again that's a stand out sequence in the film what do you have to say about the reactions to that sequence i mean you it's a mass movie that yeah. you're making you know you you tend to get that kind of a hysteria euphoria coming out of scenes like that and when you design it right it comes out right yeah my technicians are brilliant so you know that helped a lot yeah. with uh, making something like that prabhas sir's screen presence is outstanding from the beginning mm-hmm. he's made for action yeah and uh, i think most of the appreciation that we are getting is towards how he, i mean the north has not no most of the audience has not seen him in a role like that mm-hmm. i think that's uh, that's something that we present and i think we got it right there yeah. yeah and that that was actually my next question after kgf the kgf franchise salar is another uh, film or let's say a franchise where your hero is an angry young man how does the angry young man character come to your mind is it because like you have said you are a fan of salim javed and amitabh bachchan films is it that subconsciously you always write those angry young man characters which is standing against all odds with gray shades doing the ro- right thing in the wrong way yeah i draw inspiration from that era yeah. for sure i draw inspiration from that era but also i i i usually tend to write in a way where my hero has to be the biggest villain mm-hmm. i always uh, make that a rule and then start writing okay so probably that is how it reflects at the time being Uh, both the movies uh, both the characters they probably have that similarity you know that they turn out to be the biggest villains <laughs> you have to look like it at least yeah. yeah correct what's your take on violence my take on violence i i'm making uh, these two stories which require violence hmm and my, my take on violence is i i lo- i love watching violence yeah. i i love watching violent movies yeah and uh, 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 only if it is right okay it, if it is if it is if it is not sensible enough for me to view it probably i, I won't hmm. but there are no movies that people make which are insensible to uh, you know the situation and everything and just bring out violence for the sake <laughs> of it it doesn't uh, it doesn't sit well you're not yeah. going to make the numbers if if that is the case it's, it's, like yeah. you you spoke about the katerama scene you, you tell me if that was not required for a scene like that we had oh. a good build for that yeah and that is why people are appreciating it if it hmm. was just a set piece that came out of the blue i don't think people would have accepted yeah yeah it. true yeah. You, you you can you can you are rooting for him to basically right from his entry in khansar you are rooting for him yep. to save the kids what's your favorite scene of salar as a director personally the, the whole movie is about the friendship Hmm. So my my favorite scene is when the two of them meet after 25 years okay. when he comes to bring Deva back that is my favorite scene I'll uh, uh, I know that there are bigger euphoric scenes in, mm-hmm. uh, in the movie but for me that is my personal favorite scene something that I'm proud of okay yeah. you know I interviewed Sandeep Reddy Wanga recently and I asked him which is one genre you want to explore and he said he wants to make a comedy is there a genre which you want to explore you know which you know we have seen from ugram till now 
it has been action space of film but is there a genre which you want to make at some point of time which which is there within i mean not genre i i want to make different stories yeah but i don't think i decide the genre and then write the story i don't think that that is something that i am i'm yeah capable of doing i have a bunch of stories that i just want to make it because i i, I like the stories i yeah. like to tell those stories okay so i don't think i'll i'll base it on genre mm-hmm. yeah. but is there any story you want to say any specific zone there are there are so, a bunch of them i don't want to talk about them okay. no, but yeah okay and uh, so you know there are a lot of people which includes me who are not prepared to see a complex character dynamic in salar do you think uh, the co- like was there a conscious effort on your part to keep the character dynamic and the storytelling so complex and not convey it in the start like through the campaign basically i i never looked at it from that point of view like i told you this was just the first 3 3 hours of a of a 6 hour movie yeah. that i that i have come up with and uh, i have to i wouldn't put one single character there which did not make sense for mm-hmm. the entire story okay so that's something that uh, you know when salad comes out mm-hmm. the when salad 2 comes out that's uh, that will make sense that will make a lot of sense to you correct that you know i did what i did only for the sake of the entire story i i'm i'm driven by the story mm-hmm. i'm not driven by uh, trying to think about what the audience is going to find easy or difficult Different. at that point of yeah. time i i have the i have still half a, a a story to tell you yeah so when you watch the entire story okay then you'll know if the the characters are still that complex or not the, okay. the idea is not to make something complex enough for people not to understand you don't want to do that yeah especially in an emotional movie like this mm-hmm. and it is a bond between these two friends it has to be straight forward but yeah that that is how much of stories that we still have left that i could not not leave uh, not uh, leave out all these things from the f- first part first part yeah. okay but uh, have you read the have you read these kind of the, the the thing that i said have you read those feedbacks which have come your way i am not on social media so yeah. i'm i'm not uh, aware of that but I I'm told by people who have watched yeah. it and they call me and they told me that you know it was a little hard to follow but in the second viewing they got it better but that is not the design you know that is okay. what we intend to do probably I'll I'll learn from this experience and uh, do a better job of it next time okay and when we talk of the next time which is salar 2 uh what plans for salar 2 now now that salar 1 has released will you be making amendments you you had told me last time that the entire screenplay is ready Will you be making amendments to the sequel based on the feedback you have got? Yeah. No, that I I won't change the story. Okay. I won't change the story. I'm not going to change one bit in mm-hmm. that because of the feedback that I've mm-hmm. gotten. I, I mean, that's a written story already. I mm-hmm. have to follow the story. My job as a director is to narrate the story that we have written. Yeah. And uh, it's a story that uh, all of us have loved and want to tell. Yeah. On screen. on celluloid and th- that's exactly what we're going to do correct and when do you start when what what are the plans for there is no plan as of now now okay um, uh, we want to get everything right before we go ahead it's mm-hmm. too early for me to even think of it something like that okay but that will happen i am not going to not complete my story <laughs> okay and so you know when we talk of sequels and franchise you made kgf 1 2 prabhas has done bahubali 1 and bahubali 2 and these both these films have attained cult status in indian cinema does that come as a baggage on you and maybe you have even discussed with prabhas does does this success come as a baggage for both of you because every person will expect all your films to match up to those cults it does now it does in the last 9 months or 10 months i've been told mm-hmm. that kg has exploded into being yeah that big for the indian audience and uh, that is a pressure that you carry but you can't change what you're doing mm-hmm. you can't make deva look start talking like rocky one day just yeah. for the sake of it i can't just put in a mass number over there just for the sake of you know because two mass numbers have worked for uh, mm-hmm. uh, me in kg if the story demands it i'll definitely put it i'm i'm here to tell a story you know Correct. i'm not here to uh, go by the trend yeah of uh, what people really are coming to expect mm-hmm. i mean now they know that salar is going to be the way it is mm-hmm. 
they know that they know what where i've ended the story with and where it might begin with yeah and that is the expectation i'm setting okay to them i'm not i'm not going to change the trend just because kg has done exceptionally well yeah kg has done well for uh, a thousand reasons <laughs> and kgf 1 did not do brilliantly well <laughs> outside of karnataka yeah in the first part and it did brilliantly well in the second part and that's what we are trying to achieve over here we are trying we 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 just we have just put out our first half of the film uh, the film the f- the story and uh, that has to be t- t- treated like a trailer for the second second part, part. Was there ever a longer cut for Salar One, or was it always a two hour fifty seven minute? Oh, uh, it was. There was a longer cut. Hmm. There was a longer cut. There's uh, some portions that we had already shot for part two. Hmm. I mean, not for part two that we wanted to put in part one, okay. but we couldn't uh, uh, put it in in this. Yeah. We knew exactly where we wanted to stop. Okay. The movie. So that is something will which will go into part two. Part two. Yeah. Correct. and uh, you know when we talk of box office numbers this uh, salar is also going to be the biggest for prabhas outside of bahubali what have been your discussions with prabhas post the release i mean he's uh, absolutely over the moon <laughs> with something like this i don't i don't think any filmmaker is going to be completely satisfied <laughs> so i i won't be satisfied even if it uh, if, even with kgf2 i was not satisfied okay with what i did so i mean his reaction is euphoric i mean i'm we are all very very happy for that that you know we got deva right mm-hmm. in, in the movie and uh, i i think box office numbers are very very important yeah. for us and that's what we are going to aim to do with salar 2 yeah we're going to make it bigger and better mm-hmm. uh, the story is uh, is like that i'm not saying it but the story yeah. is like that correct And so, how do you view this war? I will call it war only because of how things have unfolded. The box office war between Salar and Dunkey, the way it has unfolded in the last one week, the things have not been that. Uh, how do I put it? That uh, that simple. It has been very complex with regards to the clash. How the things unfolded. How do you view it? What what have been your reactions to the clash? See, that's what happens with uh, cinema. You know, you root for your heroes. Yeah. and uh, the emotions get the better of you mm-hmm. it might be that way for the fans mm-hmm. but for us we are trying to we are not trying to compete with one another yeah we are both surviving together mm-hmm. that's the way we view it and we are um, we I, i i do not advocate being a part of something like that uh it's it's nasty is what i heard yeah and i really wish that it did not come down to something like that because both both the stars are are huge in 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 in, in indian cinema and they re, and they deserve all the respect yeah they have accumulated over all these years you know the hmm. whole environment it's it's not good for uh, cinema also you rather you ra- you would rather ignore it because there's no way to control something like that hmm. you you just let it pass i it's not a war between dunki and salar i i don't think either of us think like that i don't yeah. think the the makers of donkey think like that the makers of salar think like yeah. that we are we are here to survive and we are here to impress the audience we are here to entertain the audience yeah. we are not here to compete amongst ourselves mm-hmm. this is not a cricket match and i hope these fan wars stop because it becomes difficult even for journalists because they keep at if there is something which doesn't suit any of the sides they'll attack them as well so it it has become slightly nasty like yeah. you said i hope it, it stops but you yeah. know I, I I think with a mature mind you can think that that they are that possessive about their stars. True, on both sides, and uh, I, I think this is this is just going to settle over okay. time. And how do you view you know on on social media there is one more debate going around the numbers that it, there are a lot of people who are passing allegations on misconstruction of numbers and everything. What do you have to say about that? And do you react to such things or do you just if, ignore if this was a solo release or if dunky was a solo solo release i don't think this would have come up mm-hmm. i think you tend to attack with something like that yeah we're not uh, i don't think the, the audience is that foolish also to for us to take them for granted and do something like yeah. this I'm, i mean the misrepresentation and all of these things that that here say and uh, you want to hear more negatives mm-hmm. than positives with anything that attracts mm-hmm. anybody who wants to read so i think that is i think it's going to die down all mm-hmm. these things Hopefully. eventually the film matters basically the film should stand the test of times yeah it's not it's not salar 
versus donkey it's donkey and and salar like you know what uh, yash said it beautifully once with uh, when we were uh, coming out with beast yeah. in uh, with kgf2 yeah they have their own battles to win and we have our own battles to win mm-hmm. At the end of the day we are here only to entertain and nothing else true yeah. and sir as a director how would you define salar 1 and salar 2 like if you have to define both the parts of the film what would be your definition of part 1 and 2 there is no definition i have only told half my story so mm-hmm. i have to tell you what salar is hmm there is no 1 and 2 when it comes to yeah. this it's just that you know you tend to have a break between the first part and the second part and uh, i i just hope that i satisfy the audience mm-hmm. at the end of part 2 yeah because that is the whole intention you don't you you cannot stop halfway and hmm. want to be judged i i definitely want the whole movie to be completed and then yeah. be, then be judged or whether i know whether they're entertained or not that's yeah. the whole purpose correct yeah. and what does salar mean to you what what attracted you the most to the story of salar it's about it's about friendship yeah it's about friendship and uh, that i think uh, now we have set up the world we've just started with the friendship and now i think you're going to see it bloom and then you know like i've said before you want i think it's it's going to be fantastic drama for us to see two of the best friends turn into the biggest, biggest enemy, enemies enemies and that is that is exactly how we intend to say it we want to say it loud and clear and that that is what we're going to aim at yeah and uh, how when and where uh, we'll have to wait wait and watch correct yeah. and so are there any plans to collaborate with prabhas outside of the salar world as well because social media is buzzing so much about another collaboration with salar uh, with prabhas already <laughs> there will be collaborations i, I mean i have it's it's a no brainer you like the vibe with a particular yeah. star and result matters mm-hmm. if i give my result if and if he's okay to do the next one definitely i would want to do it mm-hmm. sometime in the future correct yeah. nothing concrete basically no, yeah, yeah nothing concrete okay yeah. And so, what are the lastly last couple of questions? What are the discussions with Hombale like for KGF franchisee? That is a that is a discussion that is ongoing. It's mm-hmm. uh, it's definitely going to happen. Yeah. Like Salar two has to happen at some point of time. Mm-hmm. KGF three also has to happen. It's 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 literally like a promise that uh, uh, you have made. All the three of us have made me Ash yeah. and uh, Vichy sir, and that will happen at some some given point of time. Great. Okay. And and so you know before the release, like over the last six months, there was lot of chatter around Salar and Ugram, which you clarified in the video interview that you did, I think, prior to the release. But do such things bother you when you know people are just comparing things that okay, this is Ugram when you, when you eventually had to come and maybe clarify that of course the story is similar, but the world, the screenplay is completely different. I I said Ugram I I I told the whole story of Ugram in 2 hours and 14 minutes. Yeah. I'm making a 6 hour movie. I'm not going to just take Ugram and put it over here. Yeah. The basic idea, you know, that I wanted that emotion hmm. for people to see it on the big screen is the only reason that I did hmm. Ugram. I had I have many other subjects that I've already narrated and people have liked, but I want I wanted to stay with something like this. So, I'm um, you know, they, if that is a, a negative mm-hmm. that people are taking that will be a very small section people are just coming in to watch story a, a story it's not eventually cinema is not about what the story is but how you tell any story mm-hmm. and, that, and that is exactly how i look at it I mean, yeah. the negatives will always come you know big movies always you're going to see negatives yeah. there is no way that you can escape <laughs> something like that yeah. so i'm not i'm not i'm not yeah. going to be bothered by something, something. Like that. and what's the biggest challenge of being prashant neel in today's time according to you there is no challenge no i'm i'm i do what i want my job is to entertain if i'm yeah. not entertaining then you know i won't have a job it's mm-hmm. as simple as that my relevance comes from the acceptance yeah and i'm and i'm and i'm very clear about that it mm-hmm. doesn't come because i made a kg if i have to make a bigger movie than kg yeah. you know my story is going to tell me what i'm going to do mm-hmm. you are driven by stories basically That's nothing it. can excite you more than a good story absolutely yeah i think that should be the case for any filmmaker that agar story nahi hai to film hi nahi hai basically that's that's what it is eventually yeah i mean i'm following my story yeah and that's how i 
I have imagined to tell it and that is how I will tell it. Correct. And so, would you ever direct a pure, like you know, KGF was a film of Kannada origin. Now, Salar is primarily made in Telugu. Would you ever make a Tamil film or a Hindi film? Uh, Why not? Why not? Why shouldn't I? Yeah. It, it depends on whom I want to approach. If I approach, uh, if I say that I want to work with a particular star mm -hmm. or a particular actor, yeah. I'd like to call them actors more than stars because mm -hmm. they've all become stars because they're fantastic actors. Yeah. So, if I like, the, if I like it, then I have to go do it in their language because they have a responsibility first mm -hmm. to do it in their language. Yeah. So you're open for it, basically. Of course. Of course. And so, as a director, does the actor come first and then the character, or is it the character and then you visualize the actor? Okay. Always the character. Character. Always. Okay. Because I have I have heard so many directors also say that there are times when they write a character keeping the actor's persona in mind. Has that happened with you or it? it it probably can happen. Yeah. Is, is that that happens with uh, the uh, the kind of uh, energy that you share with somebody that you want to work with? Mm -hmm. It probably can happen. Yeah. But uh, the characters that I've written first, I, I first wrote the character and then the I, actor. I I thought that they will be the best and I pursued them. Okay. And one last thing, what can we expect from Salar too? <sighs> I think I. Uh, the the kind of world that I have built and the kind of characters that I have built, they'll all come together with two. And uh, the importance of the relevance of all of this uh, will will only complement the friendship and the animity between uh, Deva and Varda. Okay. And uh, that is what I'm that 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 is how I want to uh, finish off. Uh, Salar 2. That was the whole intention. Hmm. We usually try try to write the ending first <laughs> before we write the beginning. Okay. And uh, I think Salar was one of those uh, stories that I first wrote the ending and then I started building everything backwards. Oh. And I'm very, 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 very keen to show the ending of Salar 2. Wow. I'm excited too by that. And just one more question came in my mind, so I'll just ask that as well. There are three action blocks in Salar 1. Will we get to see more action in Salar 2? Because that is something which a lot of people are expecting from you, the big big action blocks. This was a story driven film, which had three big blocks. So, yeah, Salar 2 has to have action, you know, it's the kind of setup that I have yeah. at the end of this movie. We're going to have uh, a lot of action in Salar 2, but I that uh, that should not be the selling point of yeah, the film. Salar 2. I'm, uh, no director is happy to hear that, you know, his, his action is what is selling. Mm -hmm. So we have a lot of we have a lot of story to tell with Salar 2. Perfect. On that note, thank you so much. Thank Wish you, you all the best for Salar 2 and everything else that you are doing. Looking forward. Thank you very much. Thank you.